embarked across to Burgundy, and in my company, my brother Richard, who from my cabin tempted me to walk upon the hatches. As we paced along, I thought that Richard stumbled and, in falling, struck me overboard into the tumbling billows of the main. I saw a thousand fearful wrecks, a thousand men that fishes gnawed upon, wedges of gold, great anchors, heaps of pearl, inestimable stones, unvalued jewels, all scattered in the bottom of the sea. Some lay in dead men's skulls, and in the holes where eyes did once inhabit, there were crept, as it were, in scorn of eyes, reflecting gems that wooed the slimy bottom of the deep and mocked the dead bones that lay scattered by. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. With that, I thought a legion of foul fiends environed me and howled in my ears such hideous cries that with the very noise I trembling waked and for a season after could not believe but that I was in hell. Such terrible impression made my dream. <laughs> 